Casey's got a boyfriend. This is a vlog I didn't want to have to make. For a few more years. But Casey has her very first date tonight. Love that. <laughs> so Casey and her boyfriend are upstairs and we're going to be dropping them off to TGI Fridays for their first ever date. Here we go guys. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice time. Thank you. Thanks. Be good. Okay, so we dropped them off and um, you didn't actually think we was going to leave them alone on their first date, did you? Mm -mm. So they've gone into TGI's, we're going to give it a few minutes, we're going to put on a few uh, disguises and we're going to be heading in there ourselves. Let's go park the car. So Operation Spying on Casey's First Date shall <laughs> commence. Let's do it. Okay, so this is Mama Bear's disguise it's uh, not really a great disguise but it's just different to yeah, what we're wearing i haven't worn this since i was pregnant with chloe so she hasn't i don't think she remember this from my wardrobe plus i felt like it was a bit of an inspector gadget type looking yeah coat. you think that's inspector gadget looking wait till you see what i've got oh god <laughs> don't embarrass me inspector sarah <laughs> <laughs> you look and then my hair was down i'm gonna put my hair up into a really smart ponytail. Should have worn a hat. Well, then she's just going to think my dad's walked in. You're ready? Now my turn. Oh, can't forget the shades. Am I, am I looking different? Yeah, you look very different. Now for my disguise. They're going to notice us because they're going to be like, look at these <laughs> two people walking in. Look at this. Oh, missed the knee thing, sorry. Oh, shall I do it again? I'll watch the knee. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. missed the crotch hole, sorry. Oh, don't worry, no one's. <laughs> the second part of my disguise. Oh, Joel in a hat. Yeah, but in a black Mac in a hat. Possibly with this up, maybe too much. Too much? No. Not enough. I can still see your face. Right, let's go. Look at the state of us. <laughs> what do imagine if we see someone we know in there? Like, why are you dressed like you're a couple of uh, B-list celebrities? I think I look more like I'm safari. What's the guy with the monkey? And the yellow Curious hat? George. Curious George, you look like Curious George's owner. What about there by the window? Oh yeah. And can we just say it's dark and I'm wearing bloody sunglasses? Yeah, we look like complete idiots. They could be by the window. Okay, okay, okay. They're there, they're there, they're there. Oh my goodness, they're right there. <laughs> okay, we know where they are. We're still waiting to be seated. <laughs> A couple of menus to hide our faces, yeah. I need a menu as well. I don't think if we want to sit at the bar, we have to wait to be seated. Oh, should we just go? We we'll just look at the menus like this. You got to hold it up. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's sit here. Okay. All I can see is, all I can see is my menu. I feel like that. I feel like that scene from Dirty Dan. Um, Greece. From Greece. I feel like that scene from Greece, you know, and they're like hiding. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Remember when we went on a date and we had Casey and Grace? And uh, is, that, is that the first time we've been on a date without them in ages? And show them what you did with the menu. Uh, I think, haven't we shown them before? No. I was like, I know, I was looking through. And I'm like, <laughs> she done Bibbo to Just me. To you, yeah. And there's no kids. <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm sorry. I was like, laughing too. Listen, don't pull your menu down. Don't put your menu down again because they might see you. I know. In fact, can you get a shot of them from where you are? I think so. I can see his arm. Okay, so in that little gap there, that's his arm. Do you think this is the best place to be seated? Is there is nowhere closer. Would, would be seen if it was anywhere else. Where we're sitting at the moment, we can't really see them, and if we try and film them, then it looks like we're filming other people. So we're going to do a very risky move, and we're going to move to a booth that's very near them. We're both going to have to sit on the same side of our backs to them. 
we can't, one of us can't be facing them. But if I face them and I have my hat down, it might. It looks like you. Yeah. All right, let's go. We're gonna have to get someone to sit us there, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. That is risky. That is so risky. They're literally behind Sarah. I'm gonna show you where they are. You can't really see. They're just like a little bit past there. I actually say I actually feel quite bad now. Do you? Yeah, because she's gonna think it's because we don't trust her, and that's that's not the case. No. What is it? It's just for bands. I don't know. Yeah, I just. It's just for jokes. <laughs> I thought it would just be funny, and then now I don't feel like it's funny. I'm just out of order. I think she will find it funny if she catches us, or she, actually, to be fair, she could actually be really upset. Because if we do like funny things, and like we send them like a milkshake with two straws or something, they'd be like, "Where on earth did this come from?" That she might be think, funny. She might think he's all the way. She's yeah, that would be We should wait till one of them goes to the toilet and then we will do it so they think what the other one did it and they both won't say anything. So I've got my hat real low so they can't see me but I haven't really looked up. I'm afraid to look up because right now I know they wouldn't be able to see my face. So I can't see them so I know they can't see me. Also when Casey and Sarah pranked me with the boyfriend on the phone, you know like a picture of the boyfriend on the phone, a lot of people commented and saying, oh why is Casey not allowed a boyfriend? And it wasn't that she's not allowed a boyfriend, it's that I was upset because she didn't tell me she had a boyfriend. And obviously this time she introduced us when they were just friends and everything like that, so she'd done it the right way. So it wasn't about me saying she can't have a boyfriend. She's 14, she's allowed a boyfriend as long as me and her mum know, and we've met him and we approve. And her boyfriend is a really nice guy, like we, we think he's really nice, don't we? Yeah, really nice. So I just realised our first date that we ever had was in this restaurant and we sat exactly where they're sitting. Yeah, we did. How, how do you remember that? Actually? I just do, I remember. Also hiding behind these menus, there is Casey and her boyfriend. Which sounds so weird just saying that. What do you think they're talking about? Casey's probably just saying how much her mum and dad trust and respect her. And respect her privacy and how cool we've been with her going on her first date. Oh. And here we are spying on her. I think like probably like just getting to know each other. And the way he was quite cute, they would say what music to listen to. So. I'm going to try a very risky shot. I'm going to try and get a proper shot of them using the menu to hide the camera. There they are, bless them. My baby girl growing up. Oh, I'm being too loud. Oh my goodness, Sarah, we could just hide behind your drink. <laughs> I did tell you I like the cocktails in here. Okay, I've taken my coat off because it is way too hot. And I'd rather just get caught than sweat to death. But um, I've got this menu here, which is literally blocking their sight from seeing me. And if you're wondering where Chloe, Sophie and Grace are, they're at home and Roland is looking after them, so they are safe and sound. Sometimes I feel like if they aren't with us, people like want to know where they are and like make sure they're okay. And they're okay. <laughs> okay, so we didn't really think about this, but it's inevitable, someone needs the toilet, so <laughs> Mum is gonna go to the toilet. Should I call you Mum or Sarah? <laughs> Sarah's gonna go to the toilet. Oh, I really need the toilet, I'm nervous. Okay, what you need to do, so guys, the toilet is literally through there, Casey is over there, it's fine, if you get up, head down, walk straight to the toilet, you'll be absolutely fine, wait, you ready, go. I think we're all good, I obviously don't want to stare at them to see if they've seen, because then they'll see me, but I know if Casey saw us, she would either come straight over here or she would call me, so I think we're good. I'm just here on my phone and I just looked up and Sarah's back. I think you get to film you coming back. I think she just kind of like slid in like <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that. Because I was washing my hands, there's a big mirror. Yeah. So I was like, I wash my hands. I was like, oh no, if she came in there, I was like, I'm getting a sore neck from my mind. Look, film me where I am. 
So this is literally how I've been sitting for the past half an hour. I've been away at things that I'm like weird or something. Yeah, because when the waiter came and went to take your menu, you're like, no, I'd like to leave that here, please. Yeah. And also, like, we demanded that we sit at this booth, and they were like, well, we've got another booth. And it, this one's not clean. I was like, yeah, we could wait for you to clean it. And she looked at me like... Diva. Yeah, like she thinks we're right divas. We're coming with sunglasses, black hats, black mats, and we're demanding stuff. Like, they must think we're just like right divas, don't they? Okay, so guys, just a quick update. As you can see, they're looking at her phone or something. The thing is, Casey's got her back to us and Dylan's facing us. Dylan's not really gonna like fully recognise us. We've only met him a few times anyway, so. Or he has seen us and he thinks that she's in on it. Yeah, imagine. And he's thinking, what is this weird family? Why has she brought her mum and dad with her? Yeah. So our food's come and we're tucking into it. I'm still keeping low next to this menu. It's funny because when the waiter uh, brought the food, he moved the menu out of the way to put the food down and I quickly snatched the menu and put it back. Again, just looking like an absolute weirdo. Okay, so now we're left. Just us. Everyone is left. The tables around us. So Sarah's literally sitting like this. Those are all the people who just walked by the windows and left. Okay, so they're not looking at us at all. So that's fine. I also, we haven't really thought about it. If either of them go to the toilet, they're gonna walk straight past us. Hello. Hello. Yeah, like literally, we're gonna have to literally done. We've got dessert menus here. So we're gonna make more of a fort. <laughs> we're making more of a fort now. My mum be like, oh, go <laughs> I just sat in my own little booth. I made my own little booth. The waiter just tried to take the extra menu away, and I was like, Do you know what? I kind of like it. Like my own little, my own little space. I don't know if you could hear. I was recording, but he was like, I used to do this with my cereal boxes. And my mum used to try and take them away. He must think I'm so antisocial. Like I don't literally that. Yeah. Oh God, it's full. You just have to look at the food menu. It's a lot quieter in here as well. I feel like I can hear them. Can you hear them? I feel like we need what to are they talking about? Can you hear them? No. No, okay. I've <laughs> been holding a wee for about an hour. I don't know why I didn't go before I came here. Uh, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it, yeah? Hurry up, because our pudding's I'm watching. coming. They, they've both got their heads down eating their food. So, I'm, I'm going to go for it, yeah? They're not even looking this way. Are they looking into each other's eyes? They're both on their phones that. Look at them, both on their phones. I feel like Dylan's kind of looking over here. Oh, stop it. Casey's still looking at our phone. Yeah. I don't know, he's looking out the window. I don't think he's looking at us. Listen to the song. I've never heard this remix. Alright, listen, talking of milkshakes, let's send one milkshake, two straws, to their table. We'll tell the waiter to say, to tell them it's on the house, yeah? So they don't suspect anything, that'll be jokes. That's gonna be so awkward for them, isn't it? As a joke, can you send them, can you send the table over there? One milkshake and two straws, and just say it's on the house. Like, don't say it's from us. Just a coconut milkshake with two straws. Okay, so we've just ordered one milkshake, two straws, for the table over there. We've told the waiter what we're doing, and he's gonna say it's on the house. And he said that actually, we might have been drinking coconut milkshakes anyway. And that's what we've just ordered them. The waiter's just put the. Drink on their table. They just looked around. They look a bit confused. Are they both drinking from the same straw? Are they doing it? I can't see. I'm not too mad. I'm not too mad. That's so delicious. They're both drinking it. They're drinking it. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I don't know actually know why we did that because that actually brings them closer together. <laughs> I think we need to get out of here before... Before they finish. Because they're going to finish and then they're going to call us. Okay. 
Yeah, because when you put that thing and get into a car, then she pulls us and we're like, I'm going to get yeah. up and we're like, they haven't had pudding yet, but there's no guarantee that they're gonna have pudding. So we do need to get the bill and get out of there. And we're lucky that they haven't actually got up to go to the toilet. So I don't know. Right, let me just see what they're doing. Okay. I think she's doing a, I think she's doing like an Instagram story. She's talking to her phone. How embarrassing is that? He's sat there and she's doing an Instagram story like I wonder what she's saying. Hi guys, I'm just on my first date. Okay girls, so I'm on my date and I've just realised that my parents are over there, but they don't know I know, so... <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> that they don't know that I know. I've gone a full prank, but we can't. There's nothing to do. Who's walked past think they don't realise and then go back and then tell them. Okay, alright. We're gonna get up. I'll hold my camera down below. Oh, she's getting up, 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 she's getting up. I think they're leaving, I think they're leaving. Oh my goodness, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. You think I didn't know? Oh. <laughs> Did you know? That's not even funny. Oh, I'm gonna go I'm sorry. Did you drop the wall? Where did you see us? <laughs> oh, you thought I was... You thought I was on a date? <laughs> what? How long did you... How long ago did you notice us? Just now? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. We was more doing it as a joke. We didn't. It's not like we didn't trust you. We couldn't actually hear what you were saying. We couldn't hear anything you said. Did you know that it was us that we sent a milk, we sent that milkshake to your to your table? He went in. This is your house because you ordered a steak. So we were just like, oh. Okay, but that's like too short. Is it weird? Anyway, we both had coconut milk shakes. So I ordered one and then, then he was like, yeah, that's disgusting. I was like, no, it's really nice. And then he tried some of mine. And then we both got one. But then it was too thick and it's hard to drink. And then the one they said was so much nicer. So you're not mad at us? Nah. Aww. It's joking, but at least you didn't hear what we were saying. Not that we're saying it'd be bad, but like... Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so you paying for our food, yeah? Are we paying for yes. that food? <laughs> it's the least that we could do, isn't it? <laughs> right, you go back and finish your date and we will pay for the bill. And then we'll meet you in the car, okay? <laughs> oh, God, I'm literally dying. Seriously. He, what, what is he going to think of us? She's going to be like, your parents are crazy. <laughs> she knows us so well that she just laughs. I think she had such oh, a good attitude. She knows that we're just doing it for jokes. We're not really seriously. spying on her. Well, we are spying on her, but you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, seriously. That is, it's still I was worse. like, she's walking. Oh my goodness. Epic fail from us. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, join the DVG fam. And uh, maybe you'll see some more spying videos coming your way. No, I don't think we will. No more. I'm done.